What's up guys, Evil Deer here, and today I want to speak about a really interesting thing I noticed when I travelled to Europe to take part in an Esperanto gathering there over New Year's Eve. Now, first up, I'm very active in the Esperanto community, both online and locally. I pretty much know everyone here. Um, I know the in and outs, I know what happens, where it happens, to who it happens. However, I've never actually gone to the heart of the Esperanto community before, and the heart is Europe. It's where it all started, it's where the most is happening. Um, so I went there over New Year's and I took part in a fairly big international meetup of Esperanto speakers over New Year's. And basically, it's just an event of where um, young people come in, we just have fun, we drink together, we share our experiences within the Esperanto community, um, we do stupid stuff and then we go home. So I went to it, I absolutely loved it, but I straight away noticed that Esperanto community has a lot of quirks that exist, I guess, in that part of the world, but definitely not in my local community. And it was really fascinating, and one of them I want to speak to you is called Pluta Amema. Now, I forget the English word for it. There is an English word, but I just never use it. Pluta Amema is a person who can have multiple girlfriends and boyfriends at the same time, and they all know each other, okay? So there's full trust there. So your girlfriend will know that you have multiple other girlfriends, and you'll know that your girlfriend has multiple other boyfriends. I understood the concept of it, but until I went there, it just blew my mind. It was really interesting. So for instance, you'd be in a room with Esperanto speakers everywhere, and over half of them practice this um, system of love, I guess. Um, I'm not sure how to describe it, but it was really fascinating because, for instance, I would be sitting there and my mate would be sitting there and he would have a his girlfriend on one side and then his other girlfriend on the other side and then she'd have her boyfriend next to him. So it was like, and they'd just kind of like swap. It was like musical chairs. One moment you'd see her with him and then the next moment you'd see him with her and then them both together and then none of them together and then it, it was so fascinating. I come from um, a really traditional conservative type of uh, viewpoint where you know it's one guy one girl but just seeing this in action was like wow this is really fascinating I, I love this you know I, I can't do it myself because I'm with my wife and everything and I don't know if I'd feel comfortable doing that. Here in Australia it's like you touch my girlfriend whack type of thing but there it's just like they're just La la la, la la la, just touching each other like multiple girlfriends, boyfriends hanging out together. I would say that this is probably a cultural quirk of the, the small part of Europe I've seen of the youth Esperanto community there because it was like nearly everyone I met there. I'd say over half the Esperanto couples I met there were practicing Pluta Mema. Um, and it was just really, really fascinating for me because I've just never seen it on such scope before. In fact, I've never seen it in Australia. I know it probably exists, but it's probably one of those things where people just don't talk about it. It's like, you know, it's one of those taboo things, but there, it's just open to everyone. And in fact, it was so interesting and so, I guess, unique to that, that when we have like our little name tags, um, there's different stickers to say, you know, what your interests and stuff are. And there was one for that. And I just saw that name tag everywhere. Um, I guess a few people probably didn't know what it meant, but like the majority knew. And I just wanted to speak about that because um, a lot of people say that uh, Esperanto doesn't have a culture, and I, I guess that's kind of like a, a cultural aspect of it. It's just so accepting in that regard. That's all I wanted to speak about. If you've liked this video, like it, share it around with your friends, subscribe to my channel if you haven't already, and I'll see you all in the next video. And if you're not there, I will find you and I'll hide under your bed in the middle of the night. <laughs> Danke mir ein Subtenanto in per Patreon. Donatzu dolaron monate por etzer tigi la estonton de chitiu canalo. Mi e just nun ai donatzanto i estas Sarah, Jo, Miguel, Bar, Tommy, Alex, Jake, Jorge, Chuck, Craig, Marvin, the Igor, Cuba, Jacob, Jason Knuckles, and Shane.